Hello, my name is Diane Schuster. In this demonstration, I'm going to configure a package that gets a list of remote files and their properties and writes the properties into a SQL Server table. This feature is new in SSIS Plus 2.0. The files that I'll be getting a list of are Excel files on SharePoint. The other connections you can use with CozyRux file transfer task are SSH for accessing an SFTP server, FTPS for accessing an FTP server securely, and REST. Before I start configuring the package, I wanted to show you the list of Excel files I'll be getting from SharePoint. And here's the properties that we'll have access to. So this is on the Cozy Rock Common API web page. You can see the URL up here. And uh, so there's actually six properties. I'm going to be getting all of them except the created time property. It turns out when you pull the list of properties about Excel files from SharePoint, that property is not set correctly. So I'm not going to work with it. So we're going to start out by defining our variables. I've already set up the connection managers. This one is for the SQL Server table, where we're going to write the properties. And this one, of course, is to access SharePoint. So the first variable I'll set up is called file list. And this is going to be an object variable. That's where the list will go. And next, I'll set up um, I'm going to be setting up five variables for each of the properties. So the first one I'll set up is file name. It's going to be a string. And then the next one will be full name. And it's also going to be a string. It'll actually be the full file path when it gets read in. And next We'll have file, si file size, and that's going to be int64. Next will be modified time, and this is set up as date time. And then finally, we have is directory. And that's Boolean. Oops. All right. All right, now we'll drag the file transfer task onto the control flow canvas. Open up the task editor. You need to choose the action called Get Remote Files List. And we'll be reading the whole list into our object variable called File List. As I mentioned, our SharePoint Connection Manager is already set up. And we'll go find the folder that has those files in it that I showed you. And there are no subfolders, so that's all we need to do there. Now we use the for each loop container. We'll open up the editor for that. And the, the enumerator will be for each ADO enumerator since it's in an object variable. And then we'll choose the file list variable. 
And now we need to set these up in the order they'll be coming in. So the first one will be file name. The next one will be full name. The next one will be file size. And then modified time. And finally is directory. There's a reason I entered the variables in this order. It needs to match the order shown on our Common API page. Now we're going to use the Execute SQL task to uh, insert all the values, all the properties, into a table. We'll open up the editor and the connection will be the OLEDB connection manager that I already had set up. Here I will paste in the insert statement. So the name of our table is file properties and here is the names of the columns, the five columns for the properties that are set up in that table and then there's of course five question marks for the values. And now I'm going to tell it what to put, what variable to put into each of those question marks. So first I'm going to put in the file name. And of course the data types are different here than when we configure the variables. Here you use uh, nvercare, and it's in the first position, so it gets a zero. And next we have full name, and that's another nvercare. And next, we'll set up the file size variable. And this is the one that's one integer. Next is modified time. And that will be configured as just date. And finally, the fifth one is, is directory. And here it will be configured as a byte data type. And that's the last one, the fifth pro property. Okay, so we are ready to execute it. And it was successful. So we'll stop debugging. I'll go over to Management Studio. And here you can see all of the properties were saved in a table. If you'd like to follow Cozy Rock on social media, here's how you would do that. Thank you for watching.